there is no hard level data and, and any other sort of supplemental uh, uh, supplements to help improve uh, outcomes for patients with pancreas cancer. As long as there's no significant side effects, you know, personally, I'm not opposed at all. Uh, there's always it's always helpful for data generation, but you know, I can't support or refute any any specific type of supplementation. Pancreas cancer does have a significant pain component component. Uh, the reason being is the pancreas is basically located over a variety of neural plexuses. So many patients present with abdominal pain, back pain, uh, which is pretty severe at times. Uh, there's a variety of modalities we can use to treat the pain. Uh, sometimes patients who get chemotherapy and radiation, the pain goes away because the cancer is being treated. Other times, if there's still significant uh, nerve involvement, patients can get blocks where we take a, a needle with our, our pain doctors and they could actually inject uh, the nerves themselves and lead to alleviation. But some patients still require some form of oral or potentially, you know, uh, you know, IV and narcotics at times. We found the association between pancreas cancer and, and diabetes. A lot of the work was done here. We do know that most patients with pancreas cancer have either a recent diagnosis of diabetes within one to two years of their diagnosis or a worsening of pre-existing diabetes. We're still trying to figure out whether it's diabetes that has an implication in, in, in the etiology of pancreas cancer or does the pancreas cancer itself uh, uh, lend people to a, a diabetic state. The number one you know, known risk other than a small percentage of patients who have a hereditary predisposition is smoking. That's probably the most significant risk factor. We do know now that diabetes uh, and obesity is, does play a significant role in the development of pancreas cancer. So those are some other modifiable potential risk factors. Unfortunately, there's no good hard data to suggest that there's any diet that can potentially prevent pancreas cancer. Uh, obviously, any sort of good diet uh, you know, in moderation is what we'd recommend in general. But unfortunately, there's no uh, current strategies to prevent pancreas cancer. Fortunately, uh, a very small population uh, uh, has a, a significant risk that we would do some sort of a prophylactic operation, and that's not currently recommended.